aim to perform brake test on a given DC shunt motor and obtain the performance characteristic. Apparatus required, opponent's type range quantity 1, ammeter MC, 0 to 2, A, 1, 0 to 20, a 1, 2 voltmeter MC, 0 to 300, V13 rheostat wire wound 370 ohm by 1, Plate details, motor horsepower, 5 HP voltage, 220 V armature current, 20 A wound type, shunt speed, 1,500 rep. This is a direct method of testing a DC motor. It is a simple method of measuring motor output and efficiency, etc. At different load currents, a rope is wound round the pulley and its two ends are attached to two spring balance S1 and S2. The tension provided by the balances S1 and S2 are T1 and T2. The tension of the rope can be adjusted with the help of belt. The force acting tangentially on the pulley is equal to the difference between the reading where V equals sign applied voltage, IA equals to armature current, RA equals to armature resistance. The total power input to motor P in equals to field power plus armature power equals to VFIF plus VAIA equals to VLIL. Then torque at the pulley is given by T shaft equals to 9.81 T1 minus T2 RNM where R is the radius of the pulley. Motor output power pout equals to T shaft asterisk omega equals to 9.81 T1 T2 R2.
The direction of rotation can be explained by the help of Fleming's left-hand rule. A counter EMF for back EMF, EB, is induced in the armature conductors while the armature motor rotating in the magnetic field. The direction the induced EMF can be explained with the help of Fleming's right hand rule and line law. The direction of this induced EMF is such that it opposes the applied voltage, V. AIA equals to V minus EB by RA, the value of EB is zero while starting the motor. Hence the voltage across armature has to be increased gradually. The power developed in the motor equals to EBIA equals to T omega, where omega equals to 2N by 60 is the angular velocity of the pulley in rad per sec. An ADC motor, T pi IA, where phi equals to flux produced by the shunt field per pole, IA equals to armature current. Procedure. 1. Connect the circuit as per the circuit diagram. 2. Keep the field rheostat in minimum resistance value. 3. Check that the belt on the pulley is free. 4. Five, by varying the field rheostat run the motor at rated speed. Six, now note down the values of voltmeter, ammeter, tachometer, and spring balance S1 and S2 at no load condition. Seven, gradually increase load in the motor in steps by tightening the belt on brake drum till ammeter reads the rated current of motor. Eight, take the readings of voltmeter, ammeter, tachometer, and spring balance readings in each step. Nine, Cool the pulley throughout the loading period by pouring water. 10. After completing the experiment, put the field rheostat to its original.
Precautions I. Cool the pulley while experiment is performed. Teku. While measuring the rate Result. Conclusion. Questions and answers. 1. What is function of starter? The function of starter is to limit the starting current to. What are the types of starters? 2-point starter, 3-point starter, 4-point starter used in DC machines, Explain the function of overload release coil in three-point starter. It shuts down the DC machine when it operating at overload. 4. If a three-point starter is not available, how can a DC motor be started? With the help of rheostat placed in series with armature circuit DC motor can be started 5. Well, six. Explain Fleming's left-hand rule. Answer. According to Fleming's left-hand rule, if the thumb, forefinger, and middle finger of the left hand are stretched to be perpendicular to each other as shown in the illustration at left, and if the forefinger represents the direction Seven. Explain Fleming's right hand rule. Answer. According to the Fleming's right hand rule, the thumb, forefinger, and middle finger of the right hand are stretched to be perpendicular to each other as shown in the illustration at right. And if the thumb represents the direction of the movement Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share and comment if you like.